Okay, hello Taurus here. Thank you guys for turning into my channel here. I'm going to do Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising here. I want to do your love, love, love read for the 23, rolling on the 24, but I'm going to pick six cards because six is representing love, okay? But I'm going to check your chakras first to see what's kicking out there or what you need to get out here, all right? All right, um, it's just Band-Aid right here. It's okay, a little pimple there, all right? All right, Taurus, let's see what we got. I'm going to get a vibe of what Taurus so far, uh, let's see here. So far, I'm getting your base and your heart chakra. Okay, so let's see what that's all about. All right, your base. Your base chakra is mostly dealing with, this is earth, it's actually your earth element here. It's actually dealing with your stress levels here, okay? So be careful with that. So if like you guys are worrying about safety or money or housing or something like that, or um, finance, or it could be with a person. So these are your stress levels here, so make sure these are okay here and squash those situations out with your life here and make them better, okay? And this is your heart chakra. Some people are focusing on your heart here. Um, heart is the air element here. It's like harmonizing relationship here. So some of you are dealing with who are you harmonizing with. You know, what's what's going on with that here as far as like family. Or I feel like you guys are mostly focused, focusing on family. What's going on together with that here. You could be trying to harmonize a relationship too. Could be with a sibling or something like that. So it's your heart chakra and your um your base. Okay. So I'm gonna start off with this. Your love here. Okay. All right. Whatever is gonna come out, my intuitive gut is gonna come out for you. Okay. I'm gonna get started here. I'm trying to get a vibe from you guys here. All right. What about our six here? So Okay, we got one that came reverse, and we got two, we need three more here. Taurus here. All right, give me one more. Taurus. All right, oh, you got lucky number seven. Okay, because I'm picking out six, but you got seven here, so we're going to do the seven. I think the seventh one, I think, if you don't mind, it's your read. This triumph and success came reversed here. Something is not coming off the ground here. I feel like you're working with, no offense, I, a younger person or someone that's not really feeling the pressure as much as you are, okay? You're dealing with someone who's just basically waiting on you to do something here. I feel like you need that better half or that, you need that person to clarify something or deal with you with this situation here. Okay, because it says triumph, but it came to you first here. But something you're trying to come to the surface here, but you need you need that person that can be there for you. Okay. It's almost like you're looking looking to this um, from a friend's point of view here. You're not trying to get a family point of view. That's probably what you're talking about. You're trying to get some clarity about here. Okay. Um, this is obstacles and challenges here. Some of you are going through this right now, either dealing with a relationship or dealing with something that's going to come public. I don't mean to say public, but it's like something that's going to air out. Getting the air, I don't know if you're putting up a post or something your family's going to see or something you're doing that's going to go up there and you're like saying to yourself, should I have done that? It's like you questioning yourself when you do something, you leave it up there and you're like, you don't care how this comes out. Or if you're with someone, your family does care. But I feel like there's you're getting messages from the spirit world and you're not paying attention to them. Some of you are getting messages here. It's like some of you feel them and some of you don't. You're not paying attention to like telling you if it's right or this is wrong here. Because I feel like some of you get in relationships because someone said you're in a relationship. Or I think you like the idea of getting a relationship and some of you are not doing this in a spiritual sense. Like, is it right for you? Is it, is it going up and down for you? I know you're putting the family together or harmonizing whatever you're doing here. But make sure this is right. Because things do change. And that's not what I'm trying to tell you. But things do change here. It's always a one-up with something. So don't dive into something because it looks good. Or someone said that you should be with that person. Okay? Everything is not God sent. 
And I did a video editorial on that too. So it'll be a little bit easier. Because sometimes you put your heart and soul into things and then it just it snaps out. Did you get to know the person? Or did you like the idea of the person? Okay. And this is new beginnings here. If you look at the picture, this person is going through, uh, walking through something. You know, she's looking straight. She's not looking at her feet like where she's going to fall. She's looking straight ahead here. It's like she's taking a chance. Some of you are not taking chances at some new things that are trying to go on into your life here. Okay? You're not taking these chances here. You keep backing off for some reason here. Maybe you need to come forward here. If it's something that you don't want to do that you have to do, you have to take that chance here because you're going to be living in that gray area for a while if you don't put that first foot forward and you know what it is. You know what it is here, whether it's relationship, budding, um, career, going back to school, doing something to better yourself, your self-worth especially. Because a lot of you don't realize when you are putting someone in your life, that's going to be your portfolio. That's going to be who you are here. And you have to be careful towards with doing that here. And this is emotional loss. A lot of you are thinking about certain things that were past tense in your life. And it's hindering your movement now. You're probably going to work and doing the necessary things. But some of it is making you go back. Because you're thinking about things here. It's like you're almost preparing for some reconcile with something toxic. Or something's going to put you back in that shadow that gray area the dark area here it's like you're preparing yourself for that because you you whoever this person you're dealing with or dealt with you get things together all good and everything but then that person comes in your life and it's like you seep down like you're questioning should you even do this i'm just gonna make the best of it and we're just gonna do this if that's how you like your life and that's how you get down and that's how it is here but no complaints about it, especially when someone brings it up that's close to you. Because you have people like your best friends or um, like a family member or a sister or something like that. And they tell you about something and you're like, what? Why did you say that? You do that. What do you mean by that? You know what they're talking about. You just can't believe they're saying it or they're mentioning it or they know this. And that's when you start to protect what you have going on. Because you're like, this is mine. I don't care how it looks to you. And that's what you say to them. But then the chips fall. And maybe that was a sign from someone that something's going on. And that's when you go back to this here. Pay attention when things, when your friends tell you something. That someone that's cool. I'm not talking about that's nitpicking with your wife. I mean someone that's really being tried and true about something pay attention to it and don't strike at them sometimes people are trying to protect you you understand okay and this is the waiting game here some of you some of you are holding off something and you're keeping it to yourself. I think you told. I think you told one or two people. Something you're trying to make is happening. It's really not happening. Like the way you're saying it is. It's like you're waiting on something to happen. Something happened before with the person. I don't know if you're in a relationship or something with someone. And it's like you're almost, I don't know what they're telling you, what they're going to do. And it's like you're waiting on this to happen. You're not moving on. Some of you are going to work and doing it, you know, the your usual. But you're not moving up further. It's like you're not thinking about that. It's like you became flatlined with this person. And you limit yourself because this person's probably telling you something that they're going to do. And you're believing it. They could be telling the truth, but how long is this going to take? Don't limit yourself. Keep going towards. 
just don't stop because of what someone said they were going to do when you don't see anything going on here. Just be patient with it, but also conduct your life how the way it's supposed to go. Okay, don't be afraid to keep going because some people, they stall their life for a man or a female. And your purpose that God gave you could be right there. And you stop again. Keep going. See, look at the that accelerate motion. Look what you got here. That means keep going here. Whatever your um, passion or whatever you want to do here, it's telling you keep going. You can get over these boundaries here. These, you know, these mountains. You can climb or you can get over this here. But some of you, you don't mind stopping for your mate. You don't mind being a ride or die person, but is that person a ride or die for you? That's what you need to find out. They could be saying all kinds of stuff all day, but are they doing the ride or die thing in the physical, or is it temporary? I know relationships have their ups and downs. I'm not trying to say scope out the situation like that, but you want to make sure that, you know, this is right for you in the long term, Taurus, okay? You guys have to master out your life here. I know life has its ups and downs, but you have people who have happy relationships here. They actually have them because they put their foot down on things and their boundaries and they know what they want to do. A lot of people don't like dealing with the responsibility of a relationship. It's not just responsibility of taking care of a home, a child. It's still a relationship. That's responsibility, okay? And this is shadow. Like I said, that gray area here. Be the better part of yourself. Is this person bringing out the darker part of yourself or the lighter part of yourself? Not the lighter part, but the, you know, the good part of yourself that people see that's good. Not this... Er, I'm, I was trying to do this, you know. You want them to see the good part of yourself here. And it's like you're almost having a battle with yourself on what's best. Because I feel like you change up when you get around certain people. It's like you feel like you have to do that. Because you're trying to balance out with different people. And all you have to do is just be yourself. And if they don't accept it, then oh well. You get around other, some of you get around other people and you change up. And you don't have to do this here. You're doing this for yourself. You know it's the same person. You're doing this for yourself here for your future. And this is how you want people to see you. Like this. Not like this. Because you get like that when something is in the dark. Something is mysterious and you strike. Either with a post or a text. Or you ghost them. Or you, you're busy. You don't want to talk. Or you're just not aligning up with this person here. You're feeling that energy, that happiness, that harmony, but something is in the dark. It's mysterious here. And it's because a lot of times, some of you choices, you look for things. You will look for things because you feel things because of past experiences that you guys are stuck into a lot. Some of it is past experience, so be careful of that, okay? I said, okay, um, okay, Taurus, you guys, be careful with that. Things are okay. I feel like things are okay, but you guys need another outlet. I know some of you, this is not for all of you. Some of you have that and some of you don't. It's like your daily day is focusing on this person or these people you want in your life here. And it's not about Taurus and what they want. A lot of people don't like spending time with themselves. They don't. They don't like spending time with themselves. That's actually humbling yourself in your spiritual sense so you can be guided the right way. You're going to fit because you don't have all this stuff going in your ear and in your face. You should do this. You should do that. You shouldn't talk to him. You shouldn't talk to her. You don't need to hear that here. Why don't you try this? Oh, my God. Okay. No. Focus on you, whether it's your leisure time or not. Spend some time with yourself. Know your dislikes and dislikes, not what they feel. Because I feel a little follow going on here, a little bit here. I know you guys I say, no, I'm independent. I didn't say you weren't independent. Some of you are followers. Some of you are. You feel like you have to do that. Because it's particular people you like being around. 
And like I did that editorial, it's not all about being by yourself alone. It's about being to yourself. Those are two different things here. It's like, feel like when you go to yourself and enjoy yourself, you're going to feel that. You need to feel that rhythm again with nature, the dance or something. You need to feel that again and get that, you know, get that life, that nightlife going again here. Be careful doing that. We get that night life, night life going again like we used to having fun here because i feel like you guys are focusing on something really hard up here and it's going to cause you a migraine cutting out okay all right you guys are good you guys thanks for watching i see you guys soon and bless you and take care of yourself here okay i'll see you guys thanks for watching bye now